This is a quick review on the general 3-in-1 timer. This is an old one I've had for about 4 or 5 years. It still works perfectly. The only problem I've had is I have dropped it from about chest height a couple times. So this is cracked. So the kickstand didn't work anymore so I just glued it permanently. This is the new one where it does work. I think that's just inherent of all, all these timers in general. The plastic holding it together is not very thick. I wish they would do this in metal, but I don't think any timers do that. So another difference between the old and the new one is that when the timer goes off, the old one's on the left, this timer has gone off. This is the new one. When it goes off, it starts counting up. So say you fall asleep or you leave the room and you forget the timer. It'll tell you how much time has gone by, up to an hour. And if you press stop, we'll go back to what you set your timer to. So on the old one, this is kind of how it's aged as far as the lettering on the back. Still enough to see what you need to do. This takes two AAA batteries and they last quite a while. So I'll kind of continue the rest with this new one. So on the back you have the sound, the light, the vibrate set or option, minutes and seconds, hours and minutes, and the light is a lot more intense on the new one. This is fresh batteries, but even so, this is the new one on the right. It's just more uniform with how it lights up and it's a little brighter, I feel. And I'll start, the timer sound sounds a little different on the hours and minutes, so I'll let that go. Make sure the sound's on. You just have to get your finger underneath there to get it up. So, this is what the sound is like when it goes off. And then the vibrate set or option. It's not a bad little motor. So again, you have hours and minutes. You have all the, you can do any combination of these. You can actually have the hours and minutes and the minutes and seconds running at the same time. And other than that, you know, this is nice. You can see that's what the hour sounds like a lot faster. The new one does count up on the minutes and seconds, but it does not on the hour sec or option for some reason. I prefer this over a phone for timing like Kundalini classes because you don't have to keep turning your phone on and off. Um, it's a lot easier to look at. Um, I guess the one downside is maybe if it's a dark room, that would be difficult because this does not have a backlight. I think that would be one thing that they could improve upon is having a backlight, say a button on the side or something. That's the only thing I could think to improve this design. I like how small it is. We're gonna go traveling. One tip when you go like put it in your bag is you want to turn all these off, everything down. So if it does get buttons pressed in your bag, it's not gonna waste your battery. And you can also you clear everything out by pressing these two at the same time. You can just press start and it'll count up. This will go up to an hour and I'll just start over. So that's quick review. I really love this timer. I can't imagine using anything else for a Kundalini class. It's been with me for a long time. I'm glad they still make it. I've looked at all the other ones and this is the one that I keep coming back to. Let me know if you have any questions.